This week, fake AI created pictures from Pope Francis wearing a Balenciaga perfect, from Donald Trump being arrested in New York, went viral all over the world. This is the power of the new Mid Journey 5 tool, which creates images that are damn photorealistic and this is dangerous but also it opens a new kind of opportunity also for photographers because photographers have the skills to create nice images and uh, here on this channel I will give those photographers a couple of tutorials to see how you can use your knowledge to create images that you might be using for your business or whatever. Today I want to show you how you create different angle views of people in Midjourney 5 using as a based examples brought by Nick Pierre, which made a nice tutorial to uh, go through all those viewing angles and also giving some couple of tips to make those look, images look right how you want it. So let's now run a couple of those viewing angle prompts to see how Midjourney 5 creates those images. In this first example, we're explaining how to get a low angle shot from a woman on the street. And here is the prompt. And as you can see, Nick Pierre suggested also to add from below to the prompt to reinforce the command so that Midjourney really gets it right. Those are a couple of samples now where you see the low angle shot and it's really spot on. Let's move on to the next prompt with a high angle view. Also in that case, Nick Pierre suggested to add from above to make sure that Midjourney 5 does it right. And here are the samples and it really looks spot on. You can also do the extreme low angle, here is a prompt. And in that case, you create a way more dramatic effect. And uh, here are a couple of samples you can check out. And of course, if you find some uh, better prompt to get it even better, please comment this uh, YouTube video so that we can learn also from your feedback to make those uh, images even better as we see it now. The same goes for the high angle. You can add extreme as a word to create the extreme high angle view and it will make it look also way more dramatic. And here are a couple of samples using that prompt. It's again spot on and you can also add extra prompt of course to modify the scene or modify the position of the woman in the picture. That's all up to you. And in this next example you have the classic side angle view. Here you have the prompt and here are a couple of image samples. You can also of course combine those view. If you want to have for example a low angle view and a side view of the person then you don't have to write side angle low angle. You have to write side view low angle to get it to the point where it gets to the image you want. Here is a couple of uh, here are a couple of examples to see that it works. And if you want your subject to be seen from the top, you have a couple of options. For example, aerial view, drone shot photo or bird's eye view will give you a similar kind of result. There is also the classic eye level view, which is actually the standard in Midjourney 5. So if you don't specify any angle, you will get mostly an eye angle view, a classic shot. And um, if you want to be sure to get it, you can add it as an info, so eye angle view, and then you will get that result. Here are a couple of examples. Of course you can modify any aspect of the image, not only the angle view, but you also want for example to specify how close to the subject you are. So you can add for example a close up shot, then you will get really close to the person. And you can of course combine that close up shot with different angle views. So for example close up shot from low angle view and whatever, you can just have fun with it and try whatever you want. Or if you want to get closer, you have to write extreme close-up shot. And here are a couple of examples to see how close it gets. There's of course also the option of the classic medium full shot. Here are a couple of examples. It works perfectly. And if you want to see the full body of the person, then you just write full body shot. And in that case, with that prompt, you get a view of uh, the full person. And now you can see a couple of examples where I combined a couple of the, those prompts. For example, centered view, low angle, extreme close up, or side view, low angle, close up, or high angle shot from behind. So this was it regarding the angle views. And I will do more of those prompt tutorials based on not only on Nick Pierre, but also on other prompters that have been specialized in creating very photo uh, realistic images. So please subscribe to this channel to not miss any of the upcoming videos and I see you soon.